I don't know if you can tell by my face, but I'm peeling like no one's business. Zoom in right. <laughs> now you can see it. I gave myself a chemical peel. And your girl's peeling it all over. But I'll stand this far back so you don't have to look at it. I wanted to make a video today talking about preparation for state boards. Now, if you're an esthetician and you made it thus far, here you are. If you're like me, I wanted to know this information like halfway through the program. But somebody told me not to worry about it. But that's another story. If you're like me and you are worried about it, you have every right to be. And I wanna let you know, I'm here to help you. Especially if you're from Maryland, because I, I'm pretty sure most state boards work the same. But everyone, you know, it's different. Just, it depends. When you graduate, at least this is how Von Lee did it. Again, I went to Von Lee International School of Aesthetics. They are going to give you a packet like this. Big old manila envelope that has a bunch of stuff in there. Now what's in that packet is your ticket to your licensure. So what you get is your certificate saying that you completed 600 hours. It says Maryland Higher Education Commission licensed by Maryland State. This certifies that LaSache Taylor has successfully completed the course of 600 hours in aesthetics, skincare, and makeup. Ah, it's so pretty. I'm gonna get a frame for it, but I haven't found one yet. Like the frames in this room, which I'll give you guys a tour one day. The frames in my room are all like silver, clear glass, and I kind of want the same, but they don't, I don't think they make it in this size. Your academic standing, which we've gotten, we get it every like three weeks, or we used to get it every three weeks. Do get that in here. Um, and a little note from your instructor, which is nice. Um, you get your student transcript that has everything that you completed. So we had 116 hours of preparation for a sex aesthetics profession, 162 hours of facial and body procedures, 133 of those being clinic and 29 of them being theory. Electricity machines and lighting, 29. 15 being clinic, 14 being theory. Massage technique, 61 being clinic, 11 being theory. Male skin care and grooming, six hours. Um, methods of hair removal, 12 theory, 50 clinic. Aging factors, advanced body techniques, 20, 22. Color theory and makeup, 25, 51. Business practices, 1410. State law regulation, 11 hours. Three theory and eight clinics. So that's 600 hours total. And they have a big tally on the back that has literally every day you were there. And it has the exams also. And what you got on all the exams. I got above 90s on all of my exams. Except for one. <laughs> and that was because I didn't study. Don't slack like me, it was towards the end. You have your experience sheet of everything you've done, the thousands of European facials I've done, vitamin C facial, specialty mask, probiotic facial, infusion therapy, revision lift, um, invigorating massage, relaxation, galvanic, high frequency extractions, underarm wax, bikini wax, Brazilian, leg wax, body wax, makeup application retail, assisting, Brow wax, stress therapy, back, light therapy, shiatsu, everything. You get a list of where the state board locations are in your state. So for the practical, you only have two places you can go. And I realized or I learned that you can't take the practical and the theory on the same day unless you go to two different locations. You can cheat the system that way. And then you get your PSI packet. Like this is what you see online. You can go to PSIexams.com and download this like I did probably the first couple of weeks of school because I was curious. Um, but we'll go over this in a little bit. So after I got this, I <laughs> sent off 
I, um, there's a, oh, can I show you? It's got my private information on it. I'll add it to the video on block out. Over here, I'll do it. <laughs> on top of my high frequency machine. That my mom got me. Shout out to you, mama. So, as soon as that happened, I filled out, you have this thing. It has like a certification at the bottom, a stamp that says you completed 600 hours. And the director has signed it. And the owner of the school, Miss Walderman, she signs it and everything. And you mail it into PSI, which is in Las Vegas. And they take forever to get it. Now, I sent it certified, so they got it pretty quickly. I mailed it probably that day of graduation. I was not playing. I think I did. Yeah, graduated on what? The 12th? Sure did. I probably sent it in that day. Um, but Monday was a holiday, so it came to them yesterday, Tuesday. And I checked online. Also, this is another thing. To be ahead of the game, go on PSIexams.com, log or register to sign in and use your email, whatever. Register yourself so that once they do get the paperwork in, it'll automatically connect to your account. As long as you put the same email address you have um, on your paperwork onto the account. So on Tuesday, I looked on the account, I did it before, I'm crazy. I logged in on Monday also to see where it was at. I also called, they're not gonna really tell you anything. So just log in and then you'll have, there's an option that says my activities. You click on my activities and then from my activities, you should see um, examination state board. You click on that, it says pay for whatever reason. I feel like I already put, my card down like on the application itself so why did I have to pay again I don't know but I did it because girl we can dispute this later I want to get this over with I'm the only person in my class who's already ready to take the state boards and signed up this quickly I'm confident I went to a good school I got a lot of education and I'll be studying some more right after this video but I'll be ready to go if I'm ready to work like I went on an interview today which is why I'm in my scrubs and I got my pen <laughs> because um, I want to work. And they were just like, what are you getting your license? And I'm like, exactly. Next week. <laughs> and next week. I'm not waiting any longer. I want to get out there. I want to do what I've worked this long to do. If you went to Von Lee, they get you prepared pretty much for state boards. But if you did not, or even if you did and you just want to brush up on it, I'm going to show you what you need to have ready. So you need a suitcase. Um, no bigger than 30 by 30. In the suitcase, you want to pack a lot of things. The first thing that goes on top, I'm gonna start from top to bottom. The first thing you need to pull out of your suitcase is your trash bag. So you need to buy a pack of these two and a half gallon by Hefty. Um, so what I have in here first is my trash bag and gloves. That's the first thing you'll pull out and they'll have you, you'll line your trash because everything goes in this, liquids, anything. So it's labeled trash, trash. It's lined with a bag, a trash bag. And you'll open this up, put it down. This is where everything will go. Um. It can be hard to get this to lay straight. So you can also put like a cardboard box at the bottom of it or on the sides to make it stand up. The second thing I need to get out is this baby. This baby's got everything you need in it. And all of it is labeled, by the way, pre-sanitized, pre-exam setup and disinfection. Not all of it is labeled that part, but it's all pre-sanitized. So this is the pre-exam setup and disinfection kit. What I have in here is a roll of paper towels, antibacterial soap, a basin, my EPA registered disinfectant, which is Clorox, and then a spray bottle with water. So you'll need that next. And what you'll do is you'll take this over to the sink, clean off your sink with the Clorox, or the EPA, 
and then um, put water in your basin. Sanitize every second. Okay. <laughs> Don't play. Sanitize. Now this bag is when you get down to business. Okay. So you have it's free sanitized face cleansing service. So this is when you'll each each um, step has a certain amount of minutes. So this is 15 minutes. You gotta sanitize your hand. You gotta apply your sheets over the bed. You have two sheets in here. Um, and by the way, I got all of my stuff for really cheap. I spent under $80 for everything in my entire kit. I know some people spent $200 and I think that's ridiculous because some of the stuff you won't even need or you, you may, but I'm just saying, it's not, uh, no. So you've got a Draper model in the, um, in the other sheet and then put the towel over top of them. Um, so I think there's two towels in here as well. A head wrap for them. Um, your cleansing materials, which is a pair of sponges, gloves, and some iPads and a wubby. The wubby you'll put underneath their head. I did not know what a wubby was at first. It's basically what they call a barber towel. It's a, a thick paper towel. Okay, I don't know why we could use paper towels. Apply the head drape, um, remove the eye makeup with the cleanser and the lipsticks. Put the cleanser over the face and neck, remove the cleanser, and then apply your toner. While you have these items out, just remind me, because I said apply your toner. I'm like, where is that? These will also be out. This is your astringent, your toner, your mask, your wax, this is crazy, your wax, your first aid kit, your massage vehicle, and your moisturizer. These are all little bottles that I got from the dollar store. Literally a dollar for a three pack. And it's got all my stuff in it my mask and I spent really nothing on these products on the inside they're not the best products they're really cheap also but again this is all for one day type of thing for their leftover products that I had in my kit like this is a moisturizer it's really a lotion um this is mock wax for when we do the brow wax the brow mock wax and this um, first aid kit was also pretty cheap as well. We're gonna do the face and neck uh, seaming service. And everything's labeled so you know what these are for. There's no excuse for you to be like looking around or not knowing what's going on. And here we just have a pre-rolled towel, a wubby, and gloves. You're gonna have gloves, sanitizer on every second or every step because every step is like a new client even though it's the same person you're doing with, you're acting like it's a new client. So in this, you kind of wring out the towel thoroughly, test it for temperature like you would on your wrist to make sure that, hey, this actually isn't gonna burn the client. You drape the towel to cover the face and neck so the nostrils are not covered, and gently lift towel from the face and neck. Really simple. The next step is the face and neck massaging portion. So you already have your massage lotion out or massage vehicle out because you have that whole thing set up. Um, but you'll need to get new gloves, new sponges, and a new wubby to put underneath their head again. And then for this step, you just apply massage product using fingers. Um, don't pull excessively on the skin. Effleurage, these are when you do your three massage techniques. Effleurage, you already know. Petrissage, okay, here. And sepultment, piano fingers. So you'll do those. And you don't stop until they say stop. You know, it's kind of like, okay, now do to Pokemon. And they'll go on from that. After that is the mask pack. So you're gonna put your mask on in upward, you know, strokes, fluid upward strokes. Um, you have a Wubby in here, pair of gloves, pair of, um, pair of sponges, a cup to dispense it in, a mask brush, something to get your mask out of the thing that it's in, and then two iPads as well. 
And then on this, you'll apply it smoothly, evenly, including excluding eyes, lips, and nasal passages. Remove it, apply astringent, toner, and then moisturizer to the entire face. Dispose of everything in that bag that I showed you earlier because that's just what you gotta do. That's what you, that's, that's what you better do. And then make sure you continuously keep them hand sanitized. Keep that thing on you. I keep that thing on me. Keep that thing on me. This is where things are fun. I'm kidding. You're halfway through, you should be like ecstatic. You got a wubby in there, you got alcohol prep pads, you got two pairs of gloves, your tweezers, um, a tissue, two iPads, two mascara wands, eyebrow service pack. So what you're gonna do is sanitize your hands per usual. Sanitize the eyebrow area using your antiseptic and you can use your pad here. Um, wear gloves, of course. Um, hold skin top when you're tweezing the hairs. Remove at least six hairs from one eyebrow. So you would see whoever your model is gonna leave minus six hair. But make sure that like your model's good. Like my model is my best friend. I told her, you know, I'm gonna take them brows out, them brow hairs out, but I promise if you do like a tent after, I'm gonna do her eyebrow tent after, cause this is probably gonna be upset with me. She don't have no hair. Let me remind my friend not to go get her eyebrows waxed. Something wrong with that girl. I believe you have to put each hair onto the napkin, like plug it, plug it, so that they can see that there's at least six hairs. But now that they say at least, can I do three years? That section is only about five minutes. Blood exposure. Now, I was confused at first when we did this pack, so I'm gonna open it up for y'all. Anyway, you have to wear your gloves, apply pressure to the cut. So you're assuming that you cut the client. You apply pressure to it to stop the bleeding. Cleanse the stimulated cut with probably an antiseptic wipe. Um. Bandage a stimulated cut, properly dispose of the used materials inside of here. This is your biohazard bag, so you'll be putting everything in here into here, if that makes sense. So next you'll be doing the pre-sanitized eyebrow arch using mock cold wax on your model, of course. So sanitize the brow area with the antiseptic that you have in here. So you have two alcohol pads, two cotton pads, a cup to dispose of, to put your material in, two small wax strips. I want to see one, so I'm freaking out, sorry. Yeah, there's two. Two small wax strips, two eyebrow or mascara wands, and gloves, of course. So yeah, this you'll be doing Sanitize the area, pats brow dry with absorbent material, applies mock wax under the brow. The mock wax, again, is that petroleum jelly. You already have it on the table. It's that small petroleum I showed you earlier. I'll show you again so you know what it is. This here. It says wax, it's petroleum. So yeah, because again, this will be out on the table at all times. You do have extra supplies. So, so say you drop something, God forbid, um, you have a big stack of extra stuff. I've got like a bunch of extra gloves in here, two extra brushes, three or four little cups, um, wooden spatulas, wubbies, and an extra rolled up uh, towel and antiseptic wipes. I have everything in here just in case because you never know. You may drop something. It's just pre sanitized extra supplies. That's all. Honestly, that's all you'll be needed. Right after that, um, I guess they need like a couple of minutes to deliberate and then they tell you if you pass or if you fail. You'll be passing if you listen to this. <laughs> You'll be passing. Um, I'm confident I'll be wearing my pen and I'll be wearing these fairy scrubs and probably my lab coat as well. But I'm pretty confident that I've got this in the bag. So wish me luck. That's all. I'm gonna run through I just did with you guys. 
is very helpful for me at least. I hope it's helpful for you. The practical, I'm not too worried about. I may be sweating and everything, but I'm not too worried about it. I am a little worried about like the exam. Not really. I know I got this, but I'm just gonna study some more so that I know I'm good. good. So if you have any comments or questions, I don't mind answering them. If you're gonna go to Von Lee, let me know that too because I am proud of the school. I love the school that I went to. There are some things about the school that I didn't like, but as far as education, no problems at all with that whatsoever. It really prepared me and I'm blessed that I went there, okay? So yeah, let me know if you girls need or guys need anything in the comments below. Thank you for watching. As always, highlight your titties or your chest if you are male, okay? Or whoever you are, honey, just highlight them underneath your scrubs and on.